Good morning. So I am feeling so much better. I was so bummed last week, you know, the canceling of the travel. And then I, I did get to go to that funeral for that um, young policeman. His wife just gave a killer talk um, at the church, which was really great, really took it to that DA. Anyway, so, um, but anyway, so I'm feeling so much better today. I had a super social week. Um, it started with Lunar New Year celebration at Ducked Up, which is the Asian restaurant at Ludlow House. I hosted a small dinner for some friends and it was just so great to see everyone. And um, so anyway, it just put me in a better mood. I know it was fabulous. And then last night, so it's Thursday today, you're gonna get this tomorrow Friday, but so on Wednesday night, uh, Joe Santos, who's a longtime friend of mine, the co-founder of uh, Brooklyn Gin, um, invited me for dinner at uh, Peasant. And uh, they did this, they love Brooklyn Gin there. So they did this incredible um, sort of cocktail service for us. That was so amazing. I've got photos of that in, in the blog. Um, and it was just, it was amazing. And if Cara or Mark Forgion are gonna listen to this at all, oh my God, I've got to uh, love what you guys did for us last night. Just really great. Then this weekend, my friends, um, Richard and Jordan are getting married and there's like cocktail, pre-wedding cocktail party, there's the wedding party, there's post-wedding events. So that's gonna be really great. And I just love those two guys. Um, and then, you know, I, last week I was so bummed about the travel, but then I just, boom, I just stepped it up and I'm planning something every month. In um, March, I'm going to Austin and I'm staying at that at the Soho house there and it looks beautiful. And again, I've got photos um, in the blog. And then my friend Sherry, who is a Texan lady who I met on one of my Nat Geo trips, she and I are going to hit up the rodeo and she seems to know a thing or two about it. So that'll be awesome. Um, and then in, um, I think in April, I'm going to Phoenix where I've not been in a while to see Brad's shows. And then I'm also straight from there, I'm heading to Vegas and I've got opening night tickets for Lady Gaga. She's doing that jazz and piano thing. So I think that's gonna be really amazing. Um, and then most of you who know me well know that how much I love birding. So this morning, so Thursday morning, I looked out my window and on at 190 Bowery, which is the Supreme building and they've got this beautiful water tower up there that actually is um, painted by Shepherd Ferry. But anyway, I see from my apartment, I see this gigantic bird. So you know, it must be really gigantic. And I get my binoculars out and so forth. And it's a, a like a massive red-tailed hawk. And he just sat there forever, just surveying the scene. And then that also made, reminded me that, and I've got it also in the, in the, in the blog, is that uh, we've got this a bald eagle here called Rover, it's R7. It was tagged like in 2018 or something. And it's been um, basically like flying over the reservoir in Central Park and then it snags these snacks, which are like basically uh, like seagulls or something or pigeons or whatever. But it's apparently like gotten four of them already. But anyway, I've got a video of that because all the bird is like on Twitter, it's just going ballistic. And then finally, um, what I'm really excited about, and I know this may be premature, but whatever, but I love the fact that Denmark has now stopped all COVID things. You know, and of course, 80% of uh, above, anyone who's above five years old is vaccinated there. But anyway, they what they're saying is that COVID is no longer a socially critical disease. So I can't wait for us to have that uh, said to us here in the States. And then France and Sweden are following suit along that. So uh, as I said, that to me is gonna be so major when that happens. Um, and that's it. So just again, um, feeling much better. Quite a few of you mentioned last week how sad I seem to be, but uh, this week I'm, I'm feeling great. 
Um, and again, just like uh, another little shout out to Kara and Mark for that fabulous dinner and the cocktail thing last night. Really fabulous. Like nightlife in New York City is just coming back with like, it's just roaring back. Um, and I love that. Bye. See you guys next week.